Hey, what's going on guys? Well, today I just wanted to quickly bring you this um, this video to talk about a subject that has been plaguing the AMD um, 7900X T or XTX graphics cards with the vapor chamber, you know, the whole ordeal. I don't know if you guys heard about that. Um, you know, I actually have an issue with this little graphics card here this is this uh, this thing here i use it to give it a beating for whatever you know to test thermal pads thermal paste whatever you know that sort of thing but as i was um doing a ben uh, doing benchmarks um testing them thermal paste the other day on the last video i noticed that and i feel to show you guys i noticed that there was a hot spot issue and the hot spot was around 15 degrees higher um and i was wondering like how the heck is that possible like you know it's making good contact i know the thermal pad is the right size the thermal pad that goes over the vrm here uh is two millimeter it's two millimeter thermal pad um we're using the right pressure the right amount um, i applied and reapplied the thermal paste and still the hot spot was there so I did what any reasonable <laughs> okay I'm not so reasonable so reasonable but what I thought would be you know obvious right so I checked for flatness here on my on the uh, heat sink and it's okay there's no rocking you know it, it looks pretty flat as you can see there we can test it going this way too well that's the thermal pad there in the way hold on give me a second here and as you can see there i hope that you can see yeah i'm nice it doesn't rock it's pretty flat it's not perfect but there is no bulge or anything like that which would cause a hot spot if you know if you get what i'm saying but look at that that's good okay so you get the point it's not the heat sink and it is my theory that the issue with the hotspot on various graphics cards not just amd might have to do with this here check this out okay are you ready okay we'll put the blade there and i don't know if you guys can see that But it actually rocks back and forth. Let me see. I can get a better angle here. Okay, I think you can see it better from this angle here. I don't know why I'm so stubborn that I kind of want to like. I want you guys to believe me because this is like shocking to me. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Right there. You guys see that? It's like, what the heck, man? Okay, maybe there. This should not be happening like this sh there should not be any play like this on top on on a cpu or gpu die this should be like as flat as they can get it you know what i mean like okay so what i have done is i put the graphics card together uh with thermal paste a new application of thermal paste just to show you what I'm talking about, like that, that center dimple, okay? And here's the thing, I have noticed this for many, many, many years of working with graphics cars, you know, tearing them apart and blah, blah, blah. Um, that dimple in the middle, uh, it's nothing new to me, okay? But 
I never paid attention to it. Like a hot spot, it was never a thing. You know, when you pull up like temperature monitoring um, software to monitor your temperature, GPU temperatures and such, you always just focus on the overall GPU die, you know, the information that the software gives you, but never about the hot spot. You, it's just, it was never on my radar. But now I'm starting to pay attention to that because, let's see. There it is. You guys see that, right? And this is no matter how you put this graphics card together, it will always have that uneven distribution there in the center. Look at the heat sink. And you can see like here, it's, you know, pressure is okay. So there's a little bit of a um, um, gap here. And then towards the center, it's just flattens out and it's even more prominent here towards this side <sighs> okay well if your graphics card looks like this when you take it apart um, and you haven't enabled a feature to allow you to monitor the hotspot on your graphics card you may want to look at this you may, you may want to look at how the thermal paste is distributed over the die to see if it's a, a die issue, in which case you probably may have a case, you know, for RMA. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it here, guys. I don't wanna get too technical about this, but this is now bringing me back memories of many graphics cards that I had issues with hotspots and I just, didn't realize really like what what it could what it could be but um yeah there's that dimple or that gap whatever all right guys see you on the next one take care peace